Three years ago, at the G20 Leaders Summit in Hamburg, we delivered the final recommendations of the Task Force for Climate-Related Financial Disclosures, the TCFD. Since that time, over 2,000 major companies with market capitalizations of over $20 trillion have become TCFD supporters. Even more impressively, financial institutions controlling balance sheets of over $150 trillion have been demanding the type of clear, consistent, and comprehensive climate disclosure that the TCFD brings. And that's why it's so significant that the UN Sustainable Stock Exchanges are releasing model guidance. This will empower stock exchanges to implement TCFD disclosure in a consistent way, in an impactful way, so that investors can make their own judgments about where to allocate capital so that they can manage climate risks and seize the opportunities in the transition to a net zero economy. Congratulations. Last year, we called on stock exchanges across the world to join a coalition that will help listed companies disclose climate data against that single TCFD standard. If all companies do this, it will enable investors to better deploy the trillions needed to decarbonize our economy and fund green industries. The guidance we're launching today brings the ambition of net zero that much closer, and we're proud to be co-chairing this coalition alongside Johannesburg Stock Exchange. In co-chairing this United Nations Sustainable Stock Exchange's work stream, we've witnessed a truly global shift in the commitments towards climate-related disclosure. As an exchange, we want to empower our issuers to publish disclosures that are material to the growing number of sustainability-led investors. We really hope that the publication of the guidance will set a clear benchmark for companies and raise the disclosure worldwide.